Um, I tried looking for a video of how to remove the coolant filter on a TT15 2015 Cascadia, Freeliner Cascadia, and um, I thought if you remove the cap from here, which is this one, it takes a 36 millimeter socket, that all the coolant will leak out of here. But I guess it has apparently it has a valve on the bottom, a one a check valve, so you can just take it off. And the reason I want to change the coolant filter is because uh, uh, under about 15 to 20 percent load, it starts to warm up. It doesn't overheat, but it starts to warm up, and that's the reason I'm changing it. So let's see how it's gonna look. A buddy of mine told me that they were full of crap. We look shit. I guess that's why it wasn't having enough flow. I know you can see. Let me show you that the new filter so you can compare it. That's the old filter. How about this one? This is the part number. And it comes as a kit. It's $36. difference and it comes with the gasket too you gotta replace the gasket on the thing and the socket is a 36 millimeter socket I went and bought one at Lowe's 36 millimeter I went and bought one at Lowe's for eight dollars but it's a 12 point and this is a six point so I, I didn't want to strip it, but when I, I started to loosen it, it was super simple, super easy. It wasn't even that tight. So one of these should do it. Uh, I ended up renting one from O'Reilly's. It's $18 to rent it. I want to return it because it's a six point. So I think you can just go to Lowe's and buy that one for $8 and keep it, you know, instead of renting it for 12 So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a vacuum cleaner, shop vacuum, clean the housing. And then uh, hopefully that fixes the problem. Because uh, at idle, it was running normal, cooler than normal, like less than 200. And uh, like a 14 PSI, or not even on a steep hill, it will start to warm up. Not overheat, but warm up. And it wasn't normal for me. I mean, I've been driving this truck for two years, and uh, that was out of the normal. So that's why I, I got some pictures of what it was. So I just wanted to make this video so because I tried looking for one and I couldn't find one. Hopefully this, this will help you guys. And I, I mean, I, you can see I put some towels, but not a drop went out. I think I spilled more when I took the filter out. But so you, this is something you can do on the road if you don't, if your truck is misbehaving. So.